So today in Oracle Cloud, I launched a 64 OCPU, so basically a 64 uh, core, 128 thread bare metal machine with um, eight NVIDIA A100s in it and uh, almost 26 terabytes of NVMe SSD storage across four drives, two uh, terabytes of RAM and uh, 50 gigabits per second network bandwidth. So um, I wanted to see what hash rate I could get out of this machine. And uh, it was pretty interesting. I was running the Oracle Linux uh, Gen 2 GPU image, which is nice because all the NVIDIA drivers are installed already. So one quick easy way to check that is as soon as it provisions the machine, log in and uh, run NVIDIA-SMI. Some people call it NVIDIA SME. And if you get uh, if you see all your cards there and temperatures and memory statistics and things like that or memory capacity, you know that the NVIDIA drivers are installed correctly. So that's what I did for this particular instance. And I tried to launch it in my base region of Phoenix, but I had to switch regions because it's not available there. It's in Ashburn. So I. Uh, went to manage regions and I and I subscribed to the Ashburn region and launched this instance there so So really powerful machine large machine and this is what it looked like um, once I logged in I installed ethminer and uh, pointed it at ethermine and ran it and you can see here that it saw all eight cards each one of them has 40 gigs of RAM. And if we read about uh, NVIDIA's press release on this, they've got two models, a 40 gig uh, model and an 80 gig model. Um, so my machine has the 40 gig model. And these cards, by the way, the 40 gig machine, if you wanted to, or a 40 gig card, if you wanted to buy one right now, there are $10,000 a piece. So this particular machine, just on the GPU side, and I know Oracle didn't pay uh, you know, $10,000 each for it. I'm sure they got a deep discount for buying in bulk, but if they were to pay MSRP for it, um, basically you're looking at, I'm not sure what the exact MSRP is, but $80,000 worth of GPUs just on this one box is kind of a rough estimate of cost. Plus the 64 uh, core 128 uh, thread CPU, which is probably an Epic. Um, that's probably easily a $3,000 CPU. So if you could get this thing to mine efficiently on the GPUs and you could also run XM rig on the CPU, um, it would be a very, very powerful machine. And it has Ampere. Um, it says it's the world's highest performing um, GPU, Tensor Core. So uh, fastest memory bandwidth, bandwidth at two terabytes per second. Um, and it was quite fast in my testing. So. It saw all eight cards at, at 40 gigs each and uh, generated the DAG in, um, I think took about two seconds for each card to put the four gigs on there. Um, and then used OpenCL to start uh, mining. And you can see um, DAG is in there and we've still got you know 35 gigs free on each card. And the first hash rate is zero because we haven't done anything yet. Um, and interesting thing that happened here, we had an accepted share here, I believe. And then all of a sudden I got kicked out. Um, I am guessing that Oracle kicked me out because they saw, um, ethermine.org, the, I'm guessing the network team and, you know, saw this, uh, saw this address come across the wire and they terminated the connection automatically is my guess. So I got a SIGSEV and, um, stack trace and uh, dead. So I went ahead and ran it again and got the same thing, saw eight cards and generate, generated the DAGs and got a little farther this time. You can see it took two seconds for each DAG. 2000 milliseconds is about two seconds um, or is two seconds. And the first um, ETH miner results were zero. And the second one, was one point was 154 mega hash, so about uh, 16 to 20 mega hash to 25 here on um, card number five per card, which wasn't much and was surprising. But then I started getting some accepted shares and uh, kept it running, 
And look at this. Um, suddenly we shot up to 1.27 giga hash. So we um, 10x the giga, the uh, hash rate on this. We went from 154 mega hash to 1.27 giga hash in the space of two minutes. Um, so then all of a sudden got disconnected again. I'm guessing Oracle kicked me out and got that SIGSEV stack trace, back trace, and that was the end of it. So um, anyway, I thought that was interesting. I got up to 1.27 giga hash. I wonder what would have happened if I would have been able to keep it running, but I couldn't. And just to reiterate on the specs for this machine, and here's a quick uh, Ethermine dashboard view. It didn't even get up to uh, this. Uh, Ethermine was lagging and didn't show me the, um, the hash rate, but it at least the worker appeared here. Um, but if we go back to the machine, again, we can see this was eight A100s, 25 terabytes of local storage across four drives, two terabytes of RAM, 50 gigabit per second network bandwidth, 64 core, 128 thread OCPU, uh, which netted me in my testing 1.27 giga hash per second on one machine. Uh, each card is about $10,000, eight cards, $80,000 plus the machine. It was about a $100,000 machine that I was running this on. But of course, Oracle paid probably half that for it, I, I would guess, um, or even less if they bought if they bought many of these, and I'm sure that they did. So anyway, thought that was interesting and uh, wanted to share that with you. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching.